Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap for July 9th, 2021. The Mets defeat the Pittsburgh Pirates 13-4, improving the Mets record to 46-38. and This was the first game of four games. The Mets will play a doubleheader later today as this video is being uploaded on July 10th. Um, let's start with the pitching. Um, we got five innings of Taiwan Walker. Yeah, he wasn't so sharp. He got into a lot of trouble in the second inning. He got himself into big trouble with the bases loaded. Um, he ended up hitting a batter and driving the first run that way. Uh, not the greatest way to you know to get on, no. But it's an RBI. And Mets know it very well. Mets have done that a couple of times already. But um, bases loaded hit by a pitch leads to the first run of the game. And then a double play got him out of trouble. So got out of trouble that way. The Mets, though, will come back right away in the next inning. Bottom of the third, uh, Jonathan Villar comes up with a solo shot to tie this game. Then, uh, a few moments later, Brandon Nimmo hits a sharp double uh, that scored McCann all the way from first base. It's giving the Mets a 2-1 to one lead at this point. Top of the fifth inning, Adam Frazier hit a single and, and drove in uh, 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 the time run for Pirates. And then the big inning, in the bottom of the sixth inning, the Mets just went all out crazy. A single by Nimmo, walk by Lindor, single by Smith to drive in Nimmo. Uh, a three-run home run, only his second home run at City Field. Pete Alonso drove in three runs with one shot. Um, then Jeff McNeil was single. Michael Conforto will walk. Um, then the Mets finally got an out. McCann will walk. The bases were loaded. And the Mets now take a hit by a pitch, which leads into another run, 7-2. to two. Brandon Nimble took a walk, 8-2. to two. And then Francisco Lindor hit the Mets' first grand slam of the season. It's, it's, it's crazy. It is very crazy. No, the Mets are actually producing runs now with bases loaded. Who would have thought? Um... And, and then capped the Mets' 10-run inning. Um, the Mets will add one more run in the seventh inning when Jonathan Villar hit another solo shot from the opposite side now. Um, and the Mets won 13-4. Now, were there any negatives in this game? Um, no, I can't really think of any real negative other than the um, Yancy Diaz and, and Tropino. I, don't, I, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, they pitched... And they gave up walks. <laughs> the one thing you never do in blowouts, give up walks. Just just throw strikes, let them let them hit the ball at this point. Which Tropino did. He gave up four hits in two innings. He probably would have pitched three innings, but then the Mets had a little rain delay. But uh good job on the Mets overall. Um we got three more games with the Pirates at home and then another three games in, in Pittsburgh. So should be a good, good series for the Mets to just Really take advantage. <laughs> but we'll see. Tomorrow, the Mets play two games. <laughs> Ooh, I got hiccups now. Look at that. In game one, the Mets send Marcus Stroman. And in game two, the Mets will have uh, Tyler McGill. So let's go Mets. It's a good time to be a Mets fan. That's for sure. And the Mets are in first. And uh, that's all I can say. Let's go Mets.